Hello and thank you for joining. My name is Max and I'm one of the Zscaler Posture Control Product Specialists. Today I would like to show you a scenario where a user who is not entitled to access S3 buckets is actually able to bypass all security controls and access this S3 buckets indirectly. So let's start from a quick overview of our setup. We have a user named Anna Klein, as you can see here, and Anna Klein is one of our Linux administrators. Because she is a Linux administrator, she has full permissions for our EC2 instances, and she also has a permission to open Instance Connect, basically to establish SSH session directly from the AWS console to this EC2 instance. Now, we also have S3 buckets, which contain sensitive customer information, and we wouldn't like Anna Klein to access this S3 buckets because they are not required for her to do her job. And in order to make sure that she is not entitled to access this S3 buckets, we are using a native tool from AWS, the IAM Policy Simulator. So here you can see that we are asking whether Anna Klein can access Amazon S3, and we can select all actions to make sure that we are not missing anything. Let's run a quick simulation. Now that we are running the simulation, you can see that all actions are denied. We can scroll down to the very bottom just to make sure that we are not missing anything we can see that absolutely everything is a deny. So Anna Klein should not be able to access this S3 buckets. Let's see if that's indeed the case. So I'm going to open a new browser window in incognito mode and log in as Anna Klein. You can see here that I'm logged in as Anna Klein. Now, before we do anything, let's make sure that we cannot access S3. So I'm going to try and open the S3 console and as you can see here, I don't see any S3 buckets. That's what we expect because I don't have any entitlements. Now let's go back to the EC2 instances and try to establish an SSH connection to one of these EC2 instances. So let's select the first one and open the instance connect. Now that instance connect is established, we can try and ask for an AWS API key. So I'm going to execute the CURL command and try to ask for an API key. And as you can see here, I'm getting all the relevant information like the access key ID and the secret access key and the session token. Let me set up several environment variables to see if I can access anything I'm not supposed to access. So the first environment variable I'm going to set is the AWS access key ID. So I'll just copy this one. The second environment variable I'm going to set is the AWS secret access key. And the third and last one is the AWS session token. Now that everything is configured, let me try and this query the S3 buckets. As you can see, I can suddenly list all S3 buckets because I'm using this AWS instance role instead of using my own permissions. But here I can only list the buckets. Can I actually obtain any sensitive information? So here you can see that I have some buckets like finance confidential. Let's see if I can query these buckets for their contents. So as you can see here, I have direct access to the actual confidential files. Let's see if I can download one of these confidential files. And you can see that now I have this file in this uh, 
directory on this machine. So once again, as a user who is not entitled to access S3 buckets, I was able to bypass security permissions, security controls, and indirectly access these buckets and download files from them, this way compromising company confidential data. Now, how you can actually address this with Zscaler Posture Control? So one of the things we do in Zscaler Posture Control, we flag those identities which are very powerful. Those identities that have a lot of permissions, something you should pay attention to. And here you can see that we have five identities that we believe are extremely powerful when it comes to storage. Let's investigate. In a moment, you'll be able to see those identities. And you can see here that we have human identities and machine identities. So we have two human identities. One of them is Anna Klein, the user we just presented. And also we have the machine identity. That's the instance Anna Klein just connected to. Let's uh, investigate this specific machine. So if we go to the graph view, this kind of posture control would immediately show you what this machine can access. You can see here the AWS role that this specific machine can assume. That's the machine storage access. And you can see the identities, both the human and non-human identities that can access this machine. So we can see that Anna Klein is able to access this machine and then using this machine access this S3 buckets as you previously seen. So to summarize, Zscaler Posture Control, unlike many other security tools in the market, is not simply checking your permissions. It builds a very detailed graph, a very detailed understanding of how exactly one user can communicate with an asset or how one machine can communicate with another machine or another asset. And having this context, having this real understanding of who can communicate with what is extremely important in order to secure your cloud environment. I hope that you found this useful. Thank you very much for listening.